of several U.S. military installations in northeast Syria, part of U.S. efforts to combat the Islamic State terror group. VOA gained rare access to this facility where American soldiers are still working to ensure that IS militants do not pose a renewed threat in the region more than two years after the U.S. forces helped defeat the so-called IS Caliphate in eastern Syria. The base is guarded by Kurdish fighters affiliated with a local military force known as the Syrian... So let me stop that right there. So, the president of Syria is Bashar al-Assad, right? He doesn't want the, the Americans in his country, but they won't leave. They say they fight in terror in his country. He never invited them to fight terror in his country. They under Obama, they fomented a civil war that has killed, probably, you know, caused uh, hundreds of thousands of refugees and killed, you know, hundreds, probably a couple hundred thousand people, right? And so they don't want them in their country. So, but what they did was, right? I'm 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 gonna go over this and then because I'm I'm making a point. So then what they do, they get with some people that don't like the government, some Kurds, right? They don't like the Syrian government. And then take over an oil field. So you didn't take over um, a farm, a patch, you know, some farm. You took over an oil field with these Kurdish people, right? And then build a base, a U.S. base, on somebody else's sovereign country land. And then start taking their resources, their oil, with a group of people who are disgruntled against the government and then claim you're fighting terrorism right if you was fighting terrorism why didn't you get with the you the syrian government to fight terrorism why would you get with a faction and cre that's creating a civil war that want to create a civil war in syria and split part of the country and then steal the oil but go in and build a base right how would you feel if the syrians wanted to build a base in texas on the oil field Right? How would you feel about that? If they, if the Syrians, the Iranians, and some other motherfuckers, the Russians, wanted to take part of Texas, sending some troops, bringing some Mexicans from Mexico who said they don't like America, and take over El Paso and there's a bunch of oil fields at, you would be like, hey, are you crazy? Sending the troops, you know what I mean? They be people would be fighting, they'd be ready to nuke motherfuckers, right? I'm making a point. I'm going to play the rest of this. I'm going to come back. Democratic Forces, SDF, which has been a major U.S. partner in the fight against IS, also known as Daesh. We support the, uh, uh, the SDF uh, and their security operations uh, to counter Daesh, uh, to counter ISIS. And this really hasn't been a change to our mission to this point. The fight continues against Daesh. Uh, you know, we continuously uh, look at degrading their capabilities, uh, both from command and control and uh, the ability for them to take and or hold any, any uh, land. So we're going to stop it right there. I mean, I'm not, I don't have to play. It's, it's a f few more minutes, but I just wanted to play that to, to prove a point, right? But these people are hypocrites, right? So let me get this straight. Now, well, the the bigger point I want to make is that Americans, like, and this is really a, about the whole UFO, like, all right, so I was watching Stephen Greer. I may play a little part of that, but I want to talk about this. So I was watching Stephen Greer and the Disclosure Project that they just did on, I believe, Monday. And they were talking about all of the criminal activity involved in the UFO cover up like people being killed um, people being experimented on by aliens people being killed people being abducted people um, all kinds of shit go go watch it you can listen to the t people having their businesses stripped from them because uh, they wouldn't sign disclosure agreement non-disclosure about these this technology uh, all kinds of shit right um, and so, you know, people being threatened, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and, I'm, I'm, and then so I, I wanted to play this point 
because if I talked about UFOs and all of that, and I didn't play this, I wanted to play something to kind of bring it more down to earth, right? Something that, you know, the Syrian conflict, we all aware of that, right? So you might say, oh, no, I'm not aware of this UFO stuff. So, okay, well, let's, let's jump over here to the Syrian conflict. So, let's use that as an, an example. If you don't believe the mistreatment of the people who testified with Stephen Greer about the murders, the assassinations, the extortion, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right, that these people are doing to keep the technology under wraps, right, to keep their program under, their black program where, you know, UFO crash retrieval, and alien bodies um, and the alien intervention on the planet Earth that's being run by Israel and the United States, you know, spearheading it along with the the um, what's called the Antichrist in the Book of Ezra, which is an alien entity. So, but I wanted to bring it down to Earth. So the Syrian war was started by Barack Obama. Um, they launched a war, believe in, no, 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 20, was it, 20 round 2014 against Bashar al-Assad, said he had to go. Bashar, Obama is gone, al-Assad is still there and not going anywhere. Now, they so they wanted to do regime change against this man, right? Now, what if somebody said they wanted to do regime change against Barack Obama, right? And then start a war with the United States. You see, people would say, well, that's absurd. That's unfair. That's illegal. How could you, how could you just nuke, nuke the United States and just regime change, but, you know, start nuking it and sending troops in and bombing it. And then, you know, said, you know, Obama, he mistreats black people and Mexicans or something. And, you know, this is a, you know, a violation of human rights and we're going in to restore democratic order, Right. Obama supports terrorism or something in the Middle East and we have to put a stop to the terrorism uh, the U.S. is a terrorist organization you know hypothetically right what if somebody did that if the shoe on the, let's put the shoe on the other foot people would be like I can't believe this this is terrible well that's what you're doing to other people right as I just as we just saw right the UFO situation in the alien intervention that's here aside let's just deal with you know regular shit let's just deal with you know the Obama administration and the Democrats their neocon attack on Syria that's still going on they're building a base right notice it's the same players too because Joe Biden was the president the vice president under Obama well he's the president and they're still they're building and expanding a base in Syria right I'm going to make a point, get to that point, but I, I just want to talk about these things first. So, let me get this straight. So, you go and launch a regime change war on somebody's country. You say that there's terrorists there or whatever. You weren't invited. Nobody, the people in Syria never invited you. So, you invaded their country to say you was helping with terrorism. And then, you build up a hostile group to the government, these Kurds take part of the country steal resources take the part of the country that has oil fields and work with these people these Kurds to break off a part of the country with oil and start you know basically you know stealing the oil from the Syrian government now in any in any other place that would be World War 3 like if you went to Russia who has oil fields and they tried that in Russia the Russians would immediately nuke them you see, if they started bombing Russia and sending in troops to Russia, like they're doing, and that's what they, that's what's going on in Ukraine, a proxy war where they're trying to send these Ukrainians into Russia to bomb Russia and say, hey, we we you know throw rocks and hide your hands and say, hey, we didn't do it. It's the Ukrainians doing it, but they're our friends, so we're giving them weapons. But it's really them. But if they directly did it, you would get nuked immediately right the same thing you're doing in Syria you see so what they're doing in Syria they're trying to do to Russia but it's much more dangerous because the Russians you know which is interesting because there's a Russian base naval base the only one in the Mediterranean is in uh, Syria as well 
So you have the Russians that have the naval base in Syria. I think it's called Tartus. And then you have the Americans building uh, a base along with some Kurds in Syrian oil fields. And then they claim that they're fighting uh, terrorism, but they were never invited. No one ever, the Syrians never said, hey, listen, America, we want to sign some paperwork with you. See, they signed paperwork with the Russians and to help them and maintain their naval base in Syria. They told the, the Americans to get the fuck out, but they won't leave. You see, without a fight. You see, they say, listen, we coming in your country. We're going to, you know, do all of this shit, this um, subversive shit. And we're not leaving without a fight. If you attack us, then y'all are terrorists. If, if you, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you attack us in your country, you're terrorizing us while we steal your oil and we prop up hostile groups like these so-called Kurds. And if you attack us for doing that, well, you're terrorists. You're hostile and then we have to wage war on you. Does that make sense? And, and I'm getting to a point. I'm, I mean, but I just want to kind of lay this all out, right? And so, they do this. Where is the United Nations? See, the United Nations are complaining about the Russians in, in Ukraine, but they're not complaining about the Americans in Syria. Why is that? Why, why is the United Nations not complaining about the Americans building a base on sovereign Syrian territory in, in, in their oil fields to block them from having access to their own oil fields and then allow Kurds and stuff like that to sell their oil from under Syrian property territory, sovereign territory where's the United Nations? oh they're not, they, they're not interested there's no UN resolution but oh my God, somebody bombed some. Some wait a minute. So the Russians are, are are in Ukraine. Oh my God, the Russians are bombing Ukraine. Oh, it's a humanitarian crisis. Oh, the UN is out every day. The UN is beating the drums about how this is terrible. Everybody in Europe, right? It's so terrible that the Russians are in Ukraine. Well, the Americans are in Syria and they don't want them there. And if they if they try to get them out, they'll 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 kill them. They'll try to kill them and bomb their capitals and all that kind of stuff. Nobody, nobody care about that. All these people walking around with Ukrainian flags on. Russia is in Ukraine. Well, the Americans are in Syria. Y'all not mad about that? Y'all not upset? Don't upset y'all. They caused the death of like a couple hundred thousand people with this shit, right? All the Syrian refugees everywhere, right? All the Arabs in America talking about, I'm from Syria. You wonder why? Well, you should be in Syria with the rest of the Syrians. Right? Everybody always in America somewhere. Always for a fucked up reason. Whether it's, in, in, you know, Indians I can understand on the reservation. Well, you should have, be able to go wherever you want. But the Negro, that's different. Right? You in America for a fucked up reason. Right? Everybody in America, the Arabs, Syrian Arabs, they're in America for a fucked up reason. Right? Then you got, you know, the Chinese, I guess, I don't know, Asians, everybody in America for a fucked up reason. The Africans, they fleeing their country. You know, everybody fleeing somewhere. And you got, and you fleeing Syria, but the Americans are going to Syria and building a base in your oil fields. And then giving weapons to groups that are fighting the government. Right? This shit is a pure insanity. I'm going to make a point in a second. But I, I just want to really just you know, kind of twist the knife on that one. For all you motherfuckers that are always crying about democracy and freedom. Democracy and freedom. Democracy and freedom. Right? you always crying about democracy and freedom. Right? Hold on for a second. Let me get back to that. Alright, so I'm back. So, So, so they go in and they decide to set up shop. They decide to set up shop, you know, in these people back, you know, in these people yard, right? 
Now, that can o now the 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 point I wanted to make is, and I'm I'm gonna tie this into I'm gonna get into this, that the hypocrisy of Americans, right? The hypocrisy of people, right? Now they always talking about justice and democracy, right? They always talking about justice and democracy, etc., 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 right? But how come you only want justice and democracy and freedom where you live at, but you want oppression where everybody else live at? It don't bother you like that. You're not upset, right? I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, right? When you're dealing with these people, right? They, when you're dealing with these people, they. They um they have this thing, right? They way they fly they, they they are hypocrites, right? They'll tell you about well justice, freedom, democracy, the constitution, all this bullshit, right? And then do this shit like we just watched on the video. Well everybody knows the history of Syria in the past, you know, what, ten, fifteen years? Right? We all know the history in Syria. Right, and we watch the carnage, right, and it, and it is always for a good cause, right? It's always for a good cause. Oh, we fighting terrorism, right? We fighting aliens. We're fighting terrorism, right? These people are hostile. Somebody's hostile, right? The Russians are hostile. So the Russians hostile to the Ukrainians, so we gotta fight the Russians, right? For freedom. Last time I checked, Ukraine wasn't on the border of Florida, right? They got 15,000 people a month coming across the United States border, but they're defending the borders of Ukraine 20,000 miles away some fucking way. They won't send no troops to their own border, but they'll send troops and weapons to a border of Russia. And then when the Russians get upset, they start coming on TV talking about freedom and democracy and liberty. Right? So wait a minute. You want freedom, democracy, and liberty at home, right? You don't want no crimes and weapons and this and that in your neighborhood and around your schools, but you're gonna you're gonna um totally co op everybody else's freedom and democracy, right? You don't give a fuck about nobody else's freedom, justice, and democracy. Right? These people are hypocrites. Right? These people are these people are hypocrites. Right? And so and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, I just told you why. They are they're hypocrites. So they allow that kind of those kind of transgressions against everybody in the world. See, there's something called karma, right? That's coming to these people. You see? There's something called karma. And so the UFO, they said, well, the UFO, like you see these people like Stephen Greer and that guy, what's that black guy, Billy, whatever his name is, Forbidden Knowledge, and all of these other people. They said, well, the aliens, they're peaceful. And, you know, the kumbaya, and we're going, you know, the aliens and UFOs, and we're going to all be one. Right, and they're gonna bring technology and free energy and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right, that's never gonna happen. That's that, none of that's gonna happen. Like, if you believe in that shit, you might as well believe in Santa Claus. It's very pie in the sky, you see, very pie in the sky. That's never gonna happen, right? And it's not, it's not even realistic looking at what's going on right now. Right, and the reason why is people don't live in reality, right? People don't live in reality. You see, they live in a fantasy world where all everybody's their friend, everybody's looking out. You know, they make up shit that ain't true, like a '90s love song, right? You just tell yourself a bunch of lies that ain't true. You see? 
until the shit comes to a horrible end. Now, the people, I, I, I want to touch on, I wanted to touch, I wanted to talk about UFOs, aliens, because this, this thing's in the news, and then, you know, everything that's going on, and a couple other things, but, and why, you know, how, why things are the way they are, and what's going to probably happen, not probably, but what's going to happen, right? Because I know people, they're selling people a dream, right? Of, you know, just like they're selling you freedom, justice, and democracy, and all this shit. But they don't... See, they sell that shit in the United States. But when what do they export? Bombs, murder, death, genocide, war, right? Tanks, depleted uranium shells, Right? That's what they do, right? And the reason, well, I'm getting off track. The reason, I want to just make this point. This is the point I want to make. The reason they do that is because the people in America are inherently wicked. You see? See, this is what I was, this, this is really what I wanted to drill down, right? See, Americans are inherently wicked. And if you can't tell by all of the shit that they do, right? Now, and you can tell by the way that they react to things like that video I just played. They know, don't let them, you know, I used to get fooled by people. And I used to think, I used to believe the hype. Like, public enemy said don't believe the hype I stopped believing the hype right and I start realizing that these people are inherently wicked and every and most of the people that you meet they're just not real this is it's they're just it's just off like there's a uh you know a mental illness and wickedness that has sunken into all the people it's, it's like Krishna Murthy said there's not he said there's no health and being well adjusted to a sick society. America is a sick society. A lot of degeneracy. You gotta be careful, they'll try to degenerate you. You see? America is a sick society. You should not adjust to it. And they have adjusted to their to their sickness, right? They they have adjusted to their sickness and their illness. You see? And so they top, it's okay to go to other countries, export weapons, right? Export genocide, export murder, export land and resource and oil theft and not say anything. Why? Because they think they're getting something from it. These sick people, right? They adjusted to it. Why? They say, well, they'll tell you, we're getting um, safety and freedom at home by going to Syria and bombing, you know, Syria because there's terrorists there and stealing their oil. This is the rationale of Americans, right, and people. So people say, I'm going to America for freedom. That doesn't make sense if you really understand how shit works. Right? And they turn a blind eye while they do all of this shit to people. Right? They, they turn a blind eye why they do this shit to people? Don't say they don't say anything, right? They turn a blind eye. They and they vote for people and they'll argue with you about how great this and that, right? That's why America is deteriorating. Fake shit falls apart. You see, karma is coming back. So they know. Don't let them fool you. They know about everything that's going on. They read the papers. They understand the detrimental, you know, the detrimental policies that are the people that they're supporting. And they say, well, it's the government. The government doesn't come out of a vacuum, motherfucker. Don't try that government shit with me. You see? The government doesn't come out of a vacuum. You are the government. When you look in a mirror, you are the government. I don't care who you are, right? When you, when you look in the mirror, 
You you are the government. Yeah, that's how it is. So, right? You are the government. This is the government, this, and big government. You are the government, right? Like white people, they complain about the government. You wasn't complaining when they was giving, killing the Indians and giving the white people free land. So why are you complaining now? Why are you complaining now? Right? Government. You are the government. Stop faking. You see? These people are very phony. Right? And you have to understand it's a con game. It's just a con. People are playing a part. It's a charade. Right? Good cop, bad cop, robo cop. Right? When they say, oh, yeah, that's terrible. They don't really give a fuck. They be, why? Deep in their heart, their sick minds, they think that they're benefiting from it. You see? They think that they're benefiting. They just not gonna tell you that. When they see uh, 200,000 dead people in Ukraine, somehow, some poor white person or some clown somewhere in America, deep down, thinks that they're benefiting from that. How? Makes no sense. Because they're sick people. Very sick, degenerated people. So they think, well, I'm benefiting from that. Now, they're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you something like, like what that guy said, right? We're over here in Syria because of terrorists. Right? They'll, they'll, this is, they'll explain it like that. They'll say, well, we're, uh, you know, I know 250,000 people got killed in Syria and we sparked this war and we bombed this country illegally and we're stealing their oil and we're propping up, you know, hostile groups against the government and we, the government doesn't want us here and we're here, but we're here fighting terrorists. They, they're over there fighting terrorists. And you say, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Nobody invited you there to fight terrorists. And they'll just say, shut up, I don't, you know. They'll, then they'll, they'll get belligerent, right? They'll, 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 because you're making sense, so then they'll get belligerent. What, do you, what makes you think you know? You're so smart. You don't know anything. You're not a good person. Why are you commenting? Who made you a political scientist? Blah, blah, blah. You know, they'll start insulting you and shit. You say, I mean, I, I mean uh, but it's common sense. You should say, wait a minute. It's just common sense, right? Because you wouldn't allow that shit where you live that, but you allow it where other people live. You're a hypocrite. You're a phony. You're a sick person. And then you try to explain it with a story that doesn't stack up, that makes no sense. Start claiming security and freedom and democracy and human rights, right? While violating every tenet of the shit that you just, you know, mentioned. With a straight face. You see, like Christian Murdy said, there is no health in being well adjusted to a bunch of sick people. That just the, you know, the Bible even says it, right? The Bible said, woe to thee that justify the wicked. These people claim to be Christians, but they're really anti-Christians. They are against the Bible. They work for the Antichrist, Satan, the devil. Who, back to the UFO thing, is an alien? And that's written in the book of Ezra, and I believe that prophecy. It's also written in the book of Joel. Right? And so, and, and, so that's what's going on, right? So so when you see all this UFO alien shit and Stephen Gray, I'm back to that, I'm jumping around, but it all makes sense if you think about it. So when I watch Stephen Gray and and I watch the testimony of the people who've been mistreated by this black operation, right? And I watch the same thing in Syria, it just got me to thinking. It's all the same thing. And these people don't care. America, I thought thinking to myself, you know, and I even saw some comments on the video on YouTube where people say, yeah, we already know, you know, they got UFOs and aliens or whatever. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, I know they know. People already know. And they know that they doing heinous shit. Just like they doing heinous shit in Syria. And they're doing heinous shit, you know, with these aliens and with these, you know, with, with, uh, in these secret bases, right? experimenting on animals, experimenting on humans. A lot of these kidnapped, disappeared people, they done kidnapped them and probably doing shit to them, right? All kinds of illegal, inhumane, murderous experiments. 
straight out of a horror, sci-fi horror movie, right? And so people know all of this is going on, and they don't care. You know why they don't care? They think they're benefiting from it. These sick people are sick. This sick society, as Krishna Murthy said, right? There's no, there is no health and being well adjusted to a bunch of sick people. You see, I see them in my family. I mean, I'm not just picking on people, but it's true. I see them in my family. I see them at work. You see them on the news. You see them in Walmart. You see them in 7-Eleven, right? On TV, in the Congress. You see them everywhere. They're very well adjusted, right? Why? Deep in their hearts, they feel like I am benefiting. I'm benefiting from them oppressing the Syrians, right? And bombing Syria or bombing, you know, Russians and Ukraine. I'm getting something out of it. And you say, what are you getting out of it? Oh, I'm getting freedom, democracy, justice. That doesn't even make sense. All that is the opposite. The Antichrist is at work. When you take, like the Bible said, you take that which is good and then you turn it into evil. And you say that it, you say that the evil is good. You see? You take an evil thing and you say it's good. This is the psyche. This is, has, this is what has been beaten into the psyche of these people. Antichrist doctrine, right? And you can't change them. That's why God is going to destroy this place. You see? Ain't going to be no... no I'm, I'm going to wrap this shit up, man. I think I made my point. Right? I'm going to wrap this shit up. You see? Ain't going to be no kumbaya with a bunch of aliens. And it's going to be like Star Wars and we all dancing, you know, with some alien band and Star Wars, you know, with some alien playing the saxophone and, and motherfuckers break dancing and buck dancing and whatnot, right? And it's like a rainbow coalition and an interplanetary coalition of people dancing around. That's not how this thing is getting ready to shake out and end, right? Because you can't take something this fucked up and fix it. It just, it's not going to work. You see? It's just not going to work. And I'm not being pessimistic. Like people might say, oh, wait a minute, you're being pessimistic. I'm not being pessimistic. It's true. Right? It's just realistic. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being realistic. Right? You can't take a bunch of sick people who think that they're benefiting from genocide and crime on one hand, but they want goodness on the other hand. Right? These are people that are unstable. You see? You're dealing with two-faced people. You're dealing with, you know, demented on a certain level, a whole populace of people across the planet, you know, in America and different places that are demented people. You see? When you can't tell right from wrong, isn't that called, what is that called? Like a psychopath. You have a psychopathic tendency. Right? When you look at people doing something that's genocidal and you, you have no problem with that because you think you're benefiting. So you call it good. Okay, you're, you're, you're kind of psycho. There's no reasoning with you. Right? At a certain level. Right? How do you reason with someone like that? You see? The Lord, he, he, he already know that in his infinite wisdom that you can't reason with these people. God knows I tried. Right? I've tried to reason with people. You see? That, and then I realized, I stopped because I realized these people aren't reasonable. There's, you can't adjust to sick people. Like Krishna Modi said, there is no health, right? In being well adjusted to a sick society. You cannot have a healthy mind and adjust to sick people. You see? It's like oil and water. The shit don't mix. You see? And that's why, like, a lot of times, I, I, people be like, oh, you can't get along with people. And I'd be like, yeah, it's, you're right. You shouldn't get along with everybody. The Lord is not going to get along with everybody, you see? What has God to do with the devil, with Satan, right? The most high to do with Satan, other than destroy him for his wickedness, you see? And so, these... There, there will be no, like, in the end, there will be, there has to be 
judgment. You see, as Ebony Ma told him, and he said, there has to be judgment. You see, to balance the scales. Because you're, you're dealing with, you know, you're dealing with people who justify wicked as a way of life. Their way of life comes from a justification of wickedness. You can never have justice in a world like that with them, ex you know, with the existence of this kind of paradigm. So that paradigm has to be shifted and it's not going to be shifted via kumbaya, diversity, integration of UFOs, of aliens, right? And all that kind of shit, right? Like, I mean, it, it's not, it doesn't even work in America. They tell you, boom, you know, it's, it's a, you know, a melting pot, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm, that's not true. It's all lies. It's all phony. It's all fake. It's all a thin veil. That even Martin Luther King said that. That's going to burn. It's a house that a fragile house that's going to burn down. In the end, Martin Luther King told that to Harry Belafonte before they killed him. You see, another example of them justifying wickedness. You see, because it was the white people in America, right, that used the government agents to put Martin Luther King to death. But these are the same people now that prop up Martin Luther King and talk about I have a dream but don't tell the true story. You see how wicked this is? To create an maya, as they say in Sanskrit, as the Buddhists say, maya, illusion, to create an illusion of something that's not real, the Antichrist, you see? There you have it, right there, you see? Everything is an illusion. Right? So I would tell you this. Trust no one in the time that's coming. Right? Because it's all an illusion. Don't trust no, no goddamn aliens. But you ain't going to be able to trust nobody in the time that's coming. This is not like I see people, you know, like the guy uh, from Infinite Waters, Ralph. And, you know, I see Stephen Greer. Right? Dr. Stephen Greer, who I'm, I find suspect and Billy the black guy Billy from Big Knowledge without Billy Carson and they keep telling I'm gonna rap with this they keep telling people right oh we're about to have a kumbaya moment with aliens right and we're gonna have disclosure right and we're gonna all be black people white people Chinese people Mexicans and aliens and everything we all gonna be integrated together in a utopia with free energy right and I don't know what else I mean I, I, you know this this bullshit you know utopian um, picture that people like Stephen Greer and Billy Carson and you know all these you know different people these different clowns you know are, are, are pumping out that's the farthest thing from the truth that's going to happen. You see? It can't. Right? It, it can't. You see? Because if that did happen, you know what that means? The prophecies in the Bible ain't true. What happens to all the Christians? You see? You got to burn the Bible now. You see? That means the prophecies ain't true. The prophecies ain't coming true. You see? We on some, you know, weird timeline that the prophets didn't see. That, you know, that nobody saw coming. We living in Star Wars now. We living in a movie with aliens and humans and all kinds. You know, we all one in this melting pot. Right? And Kumbaya. But what happened to the Syrians and all the shit you, the 250,000 dead Syrians? What happened to the 150,000 dead Ukrainians and Russians over there? That just go away? Right? What happened to the 1 million dead people in Iraq that y'all killed for no reason? That just blow away? What happened to what y'all did to black people in America? That just goes away? Because you bringing in 14,000 immigrants a month across that border and some aliens and then we all kumbaya now? So Jim Crow, what you did to my grandfather, all this shit just goes away? The 200 million, 
you know, Indians and, and blacks, you killed in America, that just all goes away, right? The destabilization of, you know, Venezuela and different countries, Guatemala and all that, you know, atrocities in Central America, that just all goes away, right? The atrocities that they probably committed to keep this whole, uh, to protect the Antichrist and all these aliens and all this, all that goes away. All the money they stole, the trillions of dollars that they squirreled away. You see what I'm saying? Like, how do you get to this utopia that they're talking about without the shit coming apart? You see? They know that that's not going to happen. They got to. You see? The same way that they know that the whole thing is an illusion. Right? This whole freedom, democracy, justice. Right? And the coming... Utopia, right, is bullshit, right? There is no utopia coming, not for them, not for a lot of these people, particularly in America. What, if, it's, if it's a utopia, what are you going to do with these 14,000 people, I don't know, a fucking month coming across the border? Probably more, right? What about them? Where is their utopia? Why aren't they in their country, in Venezuela or Haiti, in their utopia? It's not a utopia now. How, you said free energy and then it's going to be utopia, right? I, I don't want to make this too much longer. But I wanted to hash this all out. How do we get to that utopia, right? This integrated, you know, utopia. And they said, well, aliens is going to make all humans realize that we are one. We are not all one. And even the aliens know that. So that's total bullshit. God, where is that in the Bible? God never meant for us to be all one. You see? You was never supposed to be forced to integrate with people by force. You was never supposed to have, you know, be mixed in with aliens, right? You never supposed to take humans and aliens and transhumans, transgender, and all this kind of shit, right? Normalizing all of this, this kind of thing. You was never supposed to be mixing people all together. That's right in the Bible. You see? So if you're not supposed to be mixing people together, you know damn well you're not supposed to be mixing humans and aliens together. Willy nilly. This ain't Star Wars. Or Star Trek. You got a human and a Vulcan. Right? Spock or whatever and all this bullshit. Where are you getting this crap from? Right? So, yeah, I don't want to make this too long, but there needs to be some clarity. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm watching all this shit go on. I'm like, there's no clarity. There's no realism here. There's no, you know, I keep hearing these people, Stephen Gray and all these people. I'm going to end this, man. But there, I'm going to end this on this. Like I said, you can't, with a quote from Krishna Murthy, you cannot be well adjusted to a sick society. Right? Free energy is not going to cure these people of what's wrong with them. Alien disclosure and free energy, I don't know if that's going to get these people out of this out of Syrian oil fields. Right? Because the question is this. America has a ton of oil. America, they say America has more oil than any country in the world now. So if that's the truth, then what the fuck are they doing in the Syrian oil fields? And then they say, well, terrorism. Well, the, the Syrians don't need you to help with terror. They got the Russians. So why are you really there? Would be, you know, the question. You see? So free energy is not going to get them out of your country. You see? Free energy is not going to make... And aliens is not going to make the UN stop being a bunch of corrupt hypocrites. Free energy and aliens is not going to stop people from being a bunch of wicked hypocrites in America. Right? Is free energy and aliens going to stop your daughter from selling her pussy on Instagram? I don't know. Is that going to do it? Right? I'm just saying like that's like that, you know we get ready going to a utopia. Right, because of aliens and free energy 
and you know blah 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 and we all won aliens going how the fuck is aliens i don't even like the dude ralph said that on on infinite waters on i watch the channel sometime some stuff i agree with him some stuff absolutely not how the fuck does aliens who actually invaded your your country invaded your planet and been experimenting on some of you right or you think they just gonna leave I'm just saying not all of them may be bad but you think the bad ones is just oh well these niggas these, these people these niggas got free energy now and so yeah we just gonna pack up and leave you think they've been doing all that shit to pack up and leave right you gonna revoke their visa is that what you gonna do in America you gonna revoke their re visa and shut down all of these wicked ass programs and get people with free energy. Is that, that, that's what's about to, that's what you people think is about to happen. I don't know, right? I, I don't know. That's going to stop y'all from being wicked as hell and make them shut down free energy and alien uh, disclosure is going to make them shut down 150 American military bases all over the world. Is that you? You telling me that's what's going to happen? Who going to do it? The aliens going to make them do it? They say, oh, free energy is here and some aliens <laughs> pack those bases, close those bases, send all them Americans home from Germany and Guam and Japan and everywhere else. That's what you saying going to happen? I mean, you got to be the bunch of most naive, and trust me, I do some naive shit sometimes, even as an old man. But that is some naive shit to think, right? That that's where, that's where this, like, how is it that you worked out in your mind that that's where this is going? I'm just saying, make it make sense, right? Make this shit make sense. How in your mind did you make up, did you make up in your mind that that's where this is going because aliens and free energy right that that they're going to pack up in Syria they're going to pack up all over the world and bring their take their ass back to the borders where they from they're going to pack their shit up in Ukraine because some aliens and free energy the aliens come in they're going to give you free energy and give you a cure to cancer or some shit like that this is this, this is what you think you motherfuckers are not realistic if that's what you think. Right? Because a lot of these people already know that. And I said that earlier. I'm, I'm just going to reiterate that before I go. A lot of these people already know that this is not what this is going. You know what I mean? There's no way that it goes that. I mean, because it's, it's no... That's not... The, how do you just... The, that as a solution technically right I mean you're dealing with, these people are not humanitarians right they try to tell you Americans are humanitarians America is you know well I'm not getting into that again I mean I think I just proved my point I'm not going I'm not going to keep going but what, I, what, what I'm, I'm going to end on this right I'm going to end on what, what Christian Murdy said right there's no health, I'm going to say it for the last time, in being well adjusted to a sick society. You see? And no amount of aliens, free energy, no amount of voting, or any voting, fake, fake ass elections, fake one party elections, none of this shit is going to, you know, it's going to change anything. But there's something that is. That's all I got.